In this video, we will compare two methods for subtracting mixed numbers. In the first method, we will use improper fractions. In the second method, we will use mixed numbers. We'll also model the difference using the fraction bars below. We are given three and a half minus one and three fourths. Notice here is the model for three and a half, and here's the model for one and three fourths. We want to remove or take away this amount from this amount. Using improper fractions, the first step is to write three and a half and one and three fourths as improper fractions. As an improper fraction, three and a half will have a denominator of two. The numerator is two times three plus one, which is seven. Looking at the model for three and a half, if we cut all the pieces into the size of one half, we can see three and a half does equal seven copies of one half or seven halves. As an improper fraction, one and three fourths will have a denominator of four. The numerator is four times one plus three, which is seven. One and three fourths equals seven fourths. Looking at the model of one and three fourths, if we cut all the pieces into the size of one fourth, we can see one and three fourths equals seven fourths. The next step is to obtain a common denominator, hopefully the least common denominator. The reason we need to do this is so that all of the pieces are the same size. The least common multiple of two and four is four, which means the least common denominator is four. If we were not able to determine the least common multiple, we can always multiply the two denominators and use that as a common denominator. Notice two times four is equal to eight, so we could use eight as a common denominator, but that would require more simplifying later. Let's use the least common denominator of four, which means you need to write both fractions as equivalent fractions with the denominator of four. Notice seven fourths already has a denominator of four, so this fraction stays the same. To write seven halves as an equivalent fraction with the denominator of four, we multiply the numerator and denominator by two. Multiplying, this gives us the fraction 14 fourths. Looking back at the model of seven halves, if we cut all the pieces into the size of one fourth, we can see three and a half or seven halves does equal 14 fourths. And let's go ahead and line this up a little bit better. Now that we have a common denominator, or now that all the pieces are the same size, we can subtract. The denominator remains the same. The numerator is 14 minus seven, which is seven. Notice how this is an improper fraction. Let's also give the difference as a mixed number. To do this, we divide seven by four. There's one, four, and seven. One times four is four. We subtract the difference is three, which means the quotient is one and three-fourths. Seven-fourths equals one and three-fourths. Let's go back to the model one last time. Here's the 14 fourths. We want to remove or take away seven fourths, which means we want to remove this amount from this amount. Let's go ahead and do this. We're going to remove this amount from 14 fourths. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fourths. Notice how we're left with seven fourths, which does equal one and three fourths. And now let's find the difference again using mixed numbers. The first step is to obtain a common denominator. We already know the least common denominator is four, so let's write both fractions as equivalent fractions with the denominator of four. To do this, we multiply the numerator and denominator of one half by two. One and a half is equal to three and two fourths. Looking at the model for three and a half, if we cut this unit, into pieces the size of one fourth, we can see three and a half equals three and two fourths. One and three fourths remains the same. And now we subtract beginning with the fractions. But notice how we have two fourths minus three fourths. We cannot subtract three fourths from two fourths and therefore we need to perform an exchange with the three. To better understand this exchange, let's look at the model for three and two fourths. We need more fourths, so we're going to exchange this unit for four fourths. Notice this shows that three and two fourths equals two and six fourths. Let's look at this exchange in more detail. 
we began with 3 and 2 fourths. Well, 3 is equal to 2 plus 1, which means we can write 3 and 2 fourths as 2 plus 1 and 2 fourths. Well, 1 and 2 fourths is 6 fourths, and therefore this equals 2 and 6 fourths after the exchange. A lot of times you'll see the exchange by changing the 3 to a 2, which gives us 2 plus 4 fourths, and therefore we add a 4 to the 2 in the numerator of 2 fourths. We leave 1 and 3 fourths in the current form, and now we subtract. Beginning with the fractions, 6 fourths minus 3 fourths is 3 fourths, and 2 minus 1 is 1. Notice how the difference is the same, 1 and 3 fourths. Looking back at our model one last time, we want to remove this amount from this amount. Let's first remove these three-fourths, so one, two, three-fourths, and now we'll remove this unit, let's say this unit here. Notice how we're left with one and three-fourths as our difference. I hope you found this helpful.